Have you got conversations with ChatGPT or other large language models spread across many chat windows for the same project? And you're thinking, how can I get this all together in one cohesive and coherent document? In this video, that's the problem we're exploring. I'm Happy Dave, let's get into it. In the last video, we looked at this moderately complex document, which goes over a a long chat window and thought, how do we bring this all together so that we have one single document? Now in that video, we used three different techniques. We did the cherry pick, the one shot prompt, and we used Notebook LM. This video extends that idea, but now it's working for multi-conversational chat projects. So in this case, we've got a project called Fly Video. We've got many conversations, some of which are almost the same, but with slight differences. We need to create a second brain so that I have one source of truth for the project. We're going to use some of the techniques that we talked about in the last video, plus bring in new ones. Now let's get started with the first document. Now this is the conversation we worked with yesterday and we created three different variations. These two were both excellent, but we'll work with the one shot prompt version. And from there we have this readme document that I created all with one single prompt. And what we'll do is we'll just copy that and we'll head over to Notebook LM because this is where we're going to bring all this information into a single document. And what we'll do is click on the Create New button and from there we'll just copy some text in and we'll paste this information. And so now we've got our first document going into Notebook LM. Now I know that this document is about project naming requirements for my YouTube videos. So I've just renamed it here. And what we'll want to do is add another source, but where are we going to get that? So we'll come back over to the projects that are listed and we'll look through here. And I know that there's another document right at the bottom called Fly Project New digital asset management. And I suspect that the information in this conversation is very similar to the information that was in this. So what we'll do is use the same technique as yesterday and consolidate it. What we'll do is go into the Fly new project and we can see it's quite a long conversation where I started off having regular voice conversations with it. And from there, it started creating complex requirements documents. And what we can do is go and click on our GPT conversation extractor. And now we have a copy of that in the clipboard. Now we want to create a new chat, but we can't use this button because we're in a project. So we'll click on the project instead and we're just going to paste in everything from that document. And we can see we've got the user and assistant interactions going on. And we just need to prefix it with a prompt that we did in the previous video that says, summarize and synthesize our conversation into a coherent document. Prioritizing the information is which is basically at the end of the document, but still keeping in mind the insights from early in the document. And we'll just press enter on that. And that's now in the middle of building another project management requirements document, which will have a lot of similarities to the document we just looked at, but there should be differences because it was done a few weeks later. So we've pulled together our second document and it has similarities, but it's actually quite a different document to the one on the right. Let's talk about the similarities. So the similarities is that when a project is created for my videos, I'll put in a sequence for the project. I'll have a channel code. Is it for Appy Dave or AITLDR? And I have the name of the project, which is essentially the name of the video. Now, when we look through the document on the left, we can see there are similar concepts going on, but this goes in a totally different direction. It talks about creating new projects, renaming projects. It's talking about listing projects. And it also brings in a new terminology called business unit. So where it was called channel code here, it becomes business unit here, which makes a lot more sense to me. So it's one of the things I'm going to be thinking about as I bring it all together into one document. So this is the second document for Notebook LM. So we'll just copy it from here, head over to Notebook LM, click on add source and we'll use copy text again and we'll just paste all the information in. We'll let it start reading that information. Now we need to get these names correct just for our own sanity. It doesn't necessarily matter too much from Notebook LM's point of view. Go back to Fly Video, the project. 
this was the document that we just consolidated. So I might just rename this for now and call it old because it's not actually relevant other than from an archival point of view. Now I've renamed it as Fly Project CLI Tool. So what we'll do is we'll grab that name. We'll come in over here and we'll rename this source to that value as well. So now we've got project naming for individual videos that I'm creating and we've got the command line tool. Now I found another document similar to this one which I've just called fly project CLI tool more. I've also made sure it's in. I went through, I found a document that didn't have any information so I've deleted it. Next I'm just going to go and look at this document and there's a bunch of information that was used to build an ASCII diagram. So I think for this we'll just copy that information individually because the rest of the information is just a little bit confusing if we put it into our second brain. So we're just cherry picking the information there and adding it in as a new source and we will rename it as we go. We have a simple document called Fly Video Entity Relationship Diagram. Now based on the techniques for gathering a conversation that I talked about in the last video, we've been using the one-shot prompt technique the most. We just use the cherry pick technique when we just grab the ERD but now we're going to use the notebook LM and the reason for that is we've got this fly brief conversation and when we go into it we've got a bunch of information that was used to start the conversation there's also images at one stage in the document I built additional requirements and all of this information is just too much to use the one shot prompt so what we'll do is we'll go to the top of the document and we'll use the little tool that I created that allows me to extract a conversation and we'll head over to notebook LM and we'll use this to clean it up. Now there is the option of creating a new notebook because this is just one document that I need to get into alignment but because we can actually turn documents on and off we can also do it here and just make sure that we're focusing on the information we need both right now and later on when we bring everything together. So we'll start by adding a source. We'll go to the copy text. We'll paste everything in. And one of the things we can see is that there's both the user and the assistant being listed one after another. We have our long raw document and I've actually named it raw. I've also made it the only one available at the moment. We'll paste in a prompt. It's a similar prompt of summarizing and synthesizing the document, but there's a little bit of information to let it know that there is an assistant, there is a user with a little bit of extra context around the difference between an assistant and a user. So we'll just start that and see what it comes up with. So I had a look through the information here. It's essentially about creating a web application or a SaaS application. And what we'll do is we'll just go into a new chat. We'll say, turn this information into a requirements document. In this case, we're going to use Canvas. We'll paste in all the information. And what it should do is start writing a good requirements document based on all of that information from the previous chat. So now we have a nice requirements document for a web application. It figures out all the different components to lay it out. There's information about the documents and the design. And down the bottom, there's even branding guidelines. So we'll just copy this information and add it as a new source into Notebook LM. Now, this information that's being generated started from this one. So this one I'm going to disable. We won't use it again in the future because this is a better version. And we just rename it and then turn everything else on except for the raw one. And then I've just come back to ChatGPT and marked it as old while the new one is in place here. Now, over time, I will be coming through and archiving them, for, but for now, they've just got a label. So one of the conversations, the minimal UI design trends, was just an experiment where I had a look from the point of view of an image around a certain style called neomorphism. And so I just used the one shot prompt technique and we've now got a document that we can add in. This may not be part of the final project, but at least this was an exploration of some style guides that I can include. And now we're just on to the last conversation that I want to 
bring it all together. And I'll just use this different technique again, because when I looked through it, most of the information is in a relatively short conversation. The only thing missing is there's not a nice clean document at the end. So what we'll do is we'll just go into canvas mode with this and just say, read through the entire conversation. And I've just asked it to come up with a heading, write some requirements, think through some of the examples and the code, and we'll just let it build the documentation. This one document when it's finished is what I'll actually add into Notebook LM, but I will keep this conversation just as it is in ChatGPT. So we've got a copy of this conversation. We've gone over to the Notebook LM. We've put it in as Fly File Mover. If we click on that, we can see all the information here. From now, we should be able to synthesize a complete document based on all the different information sources that we've collected back from our ChatGPT project called Fly Video. So what I'd like to do now is create one consolidated conversation. So I've come through and I've marked everything with a tick except for the Fly Brief Raw because we have a better version of it here. And I've also cleared the chat window here. So we're starting from scratch. Now we could start with a simple prompt that says create a consolidated document for the Fly Video SaaS application. And that's probably going to be okay, but maybe we can use Anthropic's prompt generator and come up with something a little bit more purpose built for this particular project. So I've come over to Anthropic's prompt generator. I said, create a consolidated document based on six documents generally related to building a SaaS application, make sure that you've got the appropriate hierarchy going on. Now I shouldn't need to understand what the hierarchy is because if we view the prompt, it will write a prompt that's going to make sense. So we've got a strong opening. You are tasked with creating a consolidated document based on six different documents. Now there are actually more than that. So we are going to change that a little bit and we're probably going to strip out all the variables because that doesn't make sense for what we're doing with Notebook LM. But then it's got additional rules going on in that it can identify the main topics, subtopics, and also build an outline. So this will be a good starting prompt. We'll just copy all this information and we'll come back to Notebook LM and just paste it all the way in what we can do is just remove all these documents. A little modification here to say provided sources shouldn't matter for what we're doing. And then the final part of this prompt is just formatting it as two parts to the document. I could do it as one part, but in this case, I think I'll leave it the way it is and we'll just press go. Now, one other thing to be aware of is that the size of this prompt is limited. So at the moment, I can't actually click on the arrow. So we'll go to the very bottom and we'll get rid of the formatting. We don't need multiple document formats anyway. And we've given ourselves enough room that we can now run this. So let's kick it off. We've also made sure that the fly brief raw source has been turned off. So at this point, we've got a strong outline of all the capabilities from all the different sources, but we haven't gone detailed enough for the actual requirements document. So I've just said, expand the structure into a detailed requirements document. I want it to go deep into every source, make sure it can bring in all the rules, code examples, branding guidelines as we go. So it's expanded the information out for us. One of the things that you can notice is that it doesn't format code very well, but what you can do is come down and save a note, which I've done here, and we can see at least that there is code in here. And we will use this back in ChatGPT Canvas to convert it back into a proper document that we can read. Back in a new chat, turn into a requirements document, paste everything in, click on Canvas and let it go to work. Now it's done a pretty good job building up the document, but it's missing a few areas. So the first area that it hasn't gone deep enough into is the CLI tool or the command line interface. So I've said, can you go deeper into the CLI tool? And it's given me a bunch of information. You update the readme using the following information and we'll just paste in all the information that we queried out of Notebook LM. So as it goes through, it started updating a part of it. We've got the command line tool coming through here. 
and now we've got the functionality for the command line tool coming in. We've got create project, rename and list projects. Next, I want to update the document with the branding guidelines. And I got all this information directly from a query in Notebook LM. Can you give me information about brand guidelines? Which means we're going to get the general color guidelines that are in the fly brief, but we're also going to get information about the neomorphism. So this information is being updated as we speak speak general guidelines the colors for the brand information around using soft ui principles is coming through as well now another big area of this document was going to be the naming of the rules and projects for the application for the videos that i create so we're letting that update and the where i got this from was just asking the information can you go deep into the naming conventions of a single video project a multi-episode project how should recordings within a video get created what about the chapter names and there's also all these b-roll images for the thumbnail the intro the outro the calls to action how is this all being dealt with so this is now in the middle of updating we've got project naming episode naming and a solid section on assets like the b-roll that i just mentioned now we're looking at the file movement so one of the concepts that this application is meant to solve is routing files from say a downloads directory if it's a mid-journey image or from obs or ecamm live or camtasia if it's a video directly into the appropriate video project or assets folder so i've just gone through and asked that question tell me detailed information about how the file movement rules are meant to happen grab that information and it's just been coming through to the document right now there is a lot more i want to do with this document and i will proceed to do that but we're at the end of this video and i want to give a recap of the problems and the interesting concepts that came out here so when i started this i thought i was going to bring all the conversations into notebook lm and it was going to create one big consolidated document for me now it didn't do as good a job especially in the formatting as what I wanted but it certainly wasn't a loss because where it excelled was that if I needed to query on any part of the documents in the sources it gave me detailed information that way and so as you saw I was able to construct a complete document using canvas from ChatGPT by just pulling in the parts of the documents that I knew it was missing now this video about gathering all this requirements document serves a purpose in the next video where we're going to take all this information and create sales and marketing copy for a website so that this application when it does get built can actually be marketed i'm happy dave please like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video